The best gift you can give an elderly lady is to get them out of their dentures. Hi, this is Dr. Sarkisian. In this video, I will be showcasing the re restoration of the lower jaw with four implants sufficient to do precisely that, throw away the lower partial denture. In this case, I'm using metal-free zirconia implants by Z Systems. These come in many variants, including one piece, two piece, immediate, and bone level. For this lady, I used only the two-piece gum level implants. Whether one uses fully guided, semi-guided, or no guidance, it is imperative to conduct a CBCT analysis. Once the implant is digitally placed in the appropriate spot, I note landmarks for entry point, angulation, sagittal and frontal dimensions, and finally, depth. A papilla preserving incision is made to raise a conservative flap with the objective of displacing keratinized gingiva to the facial of the implant. Osteotomy is initiated with burr stops for each consecutive size. The Z Systems kit is equipped with one burr stop per drill and desired length can be set by engaging that stop on different notches along the length of the drill. Of course, after the pilot drill, we take an x-ray to determine uh, the position of the initial osteotomy, which I haven't shown here, uh, before we proceed with uh, the remaining uh, diameter drills. This is the countersink drill, and always remember to lean it towards the thicker cortical slope, which in this case is on the uh, lingual of the osteotomy. The threading drill is used for uh, medium to hard bone, uh, D1 and D2, and it should go all the way down the entire depth of the osteotomy. Here it is being reversed out of the osteotomy. Irrigation with ozonated sterile saline. I like to feel around and sound the bone along the osteotomy internal surfaces to make sure I am fully inside bone, that there are no perforations. I pick up the implant with the anthogear torquing instrument and slowly torque in the implant with a maximum setting of 30 Newton centimeters. Uh, anything above 20 is acceptable as long as there is primary stability. Before suturing, we cover the um, top of the implant with a healing cap. In this case, I've used uh, Trim by Voco, but uh, I suggest you use the uh, healing cap, which uh, these days is a qu a quite low profile. And, um, and then I proceed in 
suturing the flap on the facial aspect of the implant with uh, PTFE 40 sutures. During the initial two months of the healing phase, I like to protect the implant site with an Essex appliance or uh, just a modified partial denture if the patient has one. After four months of healing, we return to the site and as we notice, the gums have excellent healing around the implant. They actually grow on the implant and against it. This uh, type of implant has a cementable abutment. I will not go into the details of the cementing process. Suffice it to say that from this point onwards, we will be treating this post as a tooth and we will be making a crown same day with our Serec digital technology. This upcoming segment where we provide three implants on the lower left ridge was one month after the implantation of the first implant on the lower right. We follow the same principles, just a little bit more meticulous planning on the uh, positioning of the implants because they are um, three consecutive ones. We have to keep our ideal distance from each other. That kind of angle. You can get about about this this patient. Yeah. I mean, that would be the Four months later, the water lace I plus is used to expose the margins of the implant, and uh, then the abutments are okay, chosen and okay, cemented okay. just like on the other side. Exactly. And all three crowns are created with the CEREC. Here I'm going to go into a little more detail into the cementation process. Uh, we use an isolite uh, appliance to have the patient bite down and keep the area clean and dry. And we clean the internal surfaces of the implant with uh, mild bleach. We rinse and dry. We prime it with Z prime. And because abutment and implant are made of zirconia, we have to prime both surfaces. And a thin 
layer of cement is placed only around the neck of the abutment and this is pushed in and held in place after wiping off the excess cement it is cured while we hold it in place For all three implants, I chose angled abutments, with them all facing labially to be um, closer to the opposing dentition, which is really a, a full denture, but uh, still, you know, that creates a little more room for the tongue. And these abutments are um, prepable, which means we can prep them just like teeth, and as long as we use our brand new red stripe fine diamond burrs and here we check the clearance and we scan the abutments with the CEREC and construct the crowns Because of the fact that the opposing dentition is really a full denture with acrylic teeth, uh, we do not have to create these crowns out of a very rigid ceramic material. Instead, I use a polymer, uh, a ceramic polymer material called Lava Ultimate, which can be uh, easily adjusted and also easily repaired. And uh, it is a lot more forgiving on the implants than a very rigid ceramic material. Just in case you all are wondering what that little cantilever is, 
it is a tiny cantilever that I carved out of the first crown which um, happened to be a little too far away from the adjacent natural tooth. We just have to make sure that we keep it out of occlusion to prevent eccentric forces and torquing on the implant crown. Thank you for watching.